of African Americans throughout the history of Minneapolis is undeniable. In tonight's Voices for Change, Maury Glover looks at the role black churches played in the development of the city of Lakes. Black churches have been at the center of black life in Minneapolis for nearly as long as African Americans have been in the city. Now there's a push to recognize their contributions to the community at large. It is one of the ways that our community has thrived in the face of adversity and uh, white supremacy. So it's important to understand where that resiliency comes from and not just feel the black church is just something for Sunday morning. It's the, the church that's that's the driver. The history of the black church in Minneapolis was the focus of an online community engagement series to document the legacy of the African American community here. Speakers explained how congregations like St. James AME, which became the first black church in Minnesota in 1860, and Bethesda Missionary Baptist Church, which became the first black Baptist church in Minneapolis in the 1880s, not only addressed the spiritual needs of their members, but their social and political needs as well. The black church would help people find employment. They would help them find housing. If somebody died, they collect the money so the person could be buried. And also the long-term goal of changing the laws and removing oppressive practices was part of the black church's mission. There's no greater example of this than Greater Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. In the 1960s, when it was known as Greater Sabathany Baptist Church, its members bought the vacant junior high building across the street and turned it into the Sabathany Community Center, which helped keep the city's largest black neighborhood from disintegrating after it was torn apart by the construction of 35W through South Minneapolis. The black church is still the leading institution in our community. Without the black church, we have nothing. The black church has still has a voice. Organizers hope peering into the past will help create a permanent place for black churches in the city's history. That we as African Americans are part of the history of the city of Minneapolis. That we need to daylight our history amongst ourselves so that we can research, uh, celebrate, have historic markers, and have a presence in Wikipedia, in any articles that are written about the city, that we are there. For Voices for Change, Maury Glover, Box 9.